Welcome friends. This is Ashok Kumar Survey Parli for the aptitude series. In the previous class, we just started about mensuration. So I have just given the idea of how to understand the formulas for a 2D figures. This class, I will give you the idea or the understanding of how to derive the formulas for 3D figures. So in the last class, I have explained you what is basically what is basically a 1D figure is a 2D and a 3D. I am recapping again. Anything that has only length is 1D. Length and breadth is 2D. And length, breadth and height is a 3D figure. A 2D is a flat. It doesn't have any thickness, thick, thickness or a height. Whereas a 3D which has some height in it. Okay. We are going to see some solid 3D figures. Most of the figures in our day to day life. Most of the things we use are a 3D. A duster, a chalk piece, a suitcase. A cupboard, a helmet, a table, a watch, whatever it is. So most of them have some thickness. And I say 2D, it's a paper, a napkin, something. Which, there also the thickness will be there, but it is negligible. It has only length and width. Anything that has only one line, like a matchstick. If you assume the matchstick thickness is very negligible, that is 1D. If you consider the thickness and height, it's maybe 3D. Okay, hope you understood. So now I'm going to start on a different 3D figure. So start with, I'm going to start with the first cube. So what is a cube? This is a cube, a square on which the sides are built upon. Okay, so how do you make a cube? If someone asks to build a cube, how will you do? Cut square sheets of paper. Say the square sheets of paper of length A and breadth A. So square both sides are equal, right? And cut as many papers as you can like this and place one on another. Place on this top. You pile it up like a stack and you pile it one on another until you get a height of also as A. So cut a square sheet of paper. You keep the square sheet of paper on the ground and cut the same square sheet of paper, many, many such identical papers and place one on another, top of one another. So when you pile it up, finally you will pile such that the height also will be the A. So height also A, side and breadth, everything is also height, all the three sides, all the three dimensions, the length also A, breadth also A, height is also A. So that figure is eventually a cube. If you see the cube, it has six faces, the bottom base and the top, this side and this side, and this side and this side, opposite side, the one that is facing and the other side here. So totally it has six faces. So when you take a 3D solid figures, you will have a volume, total surface area and curved surface area. We will see one by one. What is volume? Basically, your volume is, you assume like that, you have a 3D figure and the amount of, if you pour some water into that, suppose the figure is hollow. If you pour some water in it, the amount of water it can fit in. The amount of water. Or we can say the space it occupies. Space it occupies. Okay, that is volume. Fine. When I say total surface area, what you need to understand is, the amount of paper that required to cover the figure cover the solid. So to amount of paper, how will you cover the solid? You wrap it in a paper. Maybe you are presenting a gift. How will you cover? You wrap it around. So that amount of paper. Normally the paper is in 2D. That's why we call it square meter square, squares. We call it as the area as meter square. So amount of paper that is required to cover the cube. Okay. Total surface area. Curved surface area is for the figures. You will not consider the top and bottom. Exclude top and bottom. There may be some cases. Top and bottom need not be covered. Exclude those. And those things are curved surface area. So got it? Volume is the amount of space or the amount of water that occupies. Total surface area for a figure, say a square, sorry, a cube, you're going to cover all the six faces. The cube has six faces, right? Initially, we discussed how we made a cube. We piled up on a square and we, we piled, cut many squares and piled upon such that the height also equal to the side of a square. So you will end up in a cube. When you pile like that, you will see that the top, bottom, left side, right side, front and back. Six sides totally you will have. Fine. So that covering all the six sides is total surface area. Covering the four sides, excluding the top and bottom is curved surface area. Volume is you make a hole in the cube and pour some water. The amount of thing that gets filled in is called the volume. Now we will see the all the three items for each of the figures. First, we will discuss on cube itself. So, in a cube, what is the volume of a cube? 
So volume is nothing but area into height. So what is the area of the base? Area of the base into height generally. Volume is area of base into height because that many square sheet of papers you cut it, correct? In the previous tutorial, we saw how to find the area. We just placed one dimensional matchsticks and made a square. And now those squares you made it to mark a cube. So area of a base is, you know that this is A and this is also A. A into A, A square. And you know that height also you made it as still A. So A square into A, you get it as A cube is the volume of a cube. Now, what is the total surface area of a cube? Total surface area of a cube is totally of six sides, right? Six faces six faces you have so for each face the area is area required to cover each face area of paper suppose required to cover each face is each face requires a square sheet of paper right because area of a square is a square and now you need to cover six faces so that becomes six into a square which is equal to six a square is your total surface area Fine. So each face is a square paper you need and six faces total you have is six a square. Now, what is curved surface area could be if it is that? I think this should be easy. You should tell that. It will be exclude the top and bottom. So how many faces you have? Four faces. So it will be four into a square is that for each sheet. Okay. This is the formulas for volume of a cube and total surface area and curved surface area. Next, we will discuss cuboid. What is a cuboid? Take a rectangle, cut identical rectangles and this time you need not worry about placing it to the same height, same length or same breadth. Place appropriate height. In that case, all the three dimensions are different. You will end up a figure like this eventually, like a duster or whatever it is. This is a cuboid, right? So this is will be L and this will be breadth and this will be your height. So what is a volume of a cuboid? Again, area of the base into height. So what is area of the base? Length into breadth. It's a rectangle. And you keep on piling up on rectangles one after another till some height. So area of the base into height is h. So length into breadth into height is a volume of a rectangle as i said volume is again you pour some water in it so that the entire amount of space it occupies then what is total surface area now listen in terms of cube all the six faces are sides are equal in all six faces the length breadth height are equal here it is not like that you have six faces but all the dimensions are different if you see the bottom face is length into breadth correct that bottom and the top bottom is length into breadth top also will be length into breadth so LB plus LB. Will you understand? So bottom is L into B. The top of the cuboid is also will be L into B. Now coming to the side face, this face, this rectangle. Now you have this rectangle. In this rectangle, you have breadth into height. And similarly, opposite face of it is breadth into height. So that will be breadth into height plus breadth into height. Now you have one more face, the front facing face and the back side. If you see like from here, this face and this face. So that will be length into height. Length, see here, this rectangle, length into height, right? I'm talking about this rectangle. And the back side of it. So that will be eventually length into height. So if you see, length into height plus length into height. So typically you will end up in a formula, two times of LB plus BH plus HL. I took two commonly outside. So it is eventually 2LB plus 2BH plus 2HL. Okay. When you speak about curved surface area for this figure, it is based upon the question what it is. Suppose the room, the room normally will be in a cuboid, the whatever living room. Some certain rooms will be in a square, a smaller rooms, but normally living room will be in a cuboid, right? It has a floor and the top, four walls, four walls, two walls will be identical. The other two walls will be identical. If the question is to just to paint all the four walls, you should exclude the top and bottom because floor we will not paint and also top we will may give us some other different paint. Normally the four walls we give a normal paint. In that case, to find the curved surface area or to what is the area amount of uh, amount of 
paint that is required or the area that is occupied by the four walls is nothing but you will exclude the length and breadth on base and as well as the top then it will be bh plus bh plus hl plus hl so basically it is based upon the question fine but you need to understand what is surface area it is the paper that is required to cover the figure okay so total surface area cover the entire thing curved surface area is leaving the base and the bottom so these are the three things about the cuboid now we will see cylinder we will see basic stuff on what will be a cylinder is all about yeah so how will you make a cylinder similar to that make a circle and cut as many circles as possible and pile one upon another like a stack keep one circle on top of another and the end figure will be a cylinder like this when you draw in a 2d paper like this it will be like this only so a cylinder will typically has radius because you kept the base as a circle and you kept some height you continuously placed some circles one top of another so finally the volume of a cylinder will be base into height right normally what is a base base here is a circle so area of a circle is pi r square into height so volume of a cylinder is pi r square h now coming to total surface area of a cylinder cylinder is curved to cover a circle you will be concentrating on the circumference in the previous class we saw what is a circumference in the previous tutorial so circumference is nothing but 2 pi r right so now you need to cover the entire cylinder so cover the entire the circumference along with the height so what you need to do cover the circumference along with the height the amount of paper that is required to cover the cylinder so that will be 2 pi r times h plus total surface area is you will cover also the top and bottom so that will be pi r square as a top and pi another pi r square in the bottom so it will be 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square are you able to understand so pi r square is in the area of the circle in the top and similarly you will have a circle at the bottom because how will you make a cylinder placing circles one top of another so 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square when you take 2 pi r commonly outside you will end up in r plus h are you clear so this is the total surface area of a cylinder then what is a curved surface area you will be more clear on that because curved surface area you will not consider the top and bottom so you will include 2 pi r h alone so that will be 2 pi r h which is what curved surface area is about fine curved surface area is take a color sheet of paper wrap the cylinder around its body leaving the top and bottom why it is 2 pi r h is circumference of a circle like for one wrap 2 pi r till you wrap it till it's height that is 2 pi r h so this is the concept now next we will see on cone so what is typically a cone experimentally what the people did is cone you cannot form like this you, you need to click, keep the base as a circle and you need to cut smaller 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 circles until the last circle is just a dot when you pile upon it you will end up in a cone but there is no straight derivation like that for a cone experimentally what people did is took a same cylinder and the same cone meaning cylinder with the same height r and same height h as are that of a cone both r and h are equal in that case they filled water in the cone and poured inside the cylinder once they do that when you fill it three times the cylinder gets filled so the meaning if the cylinder and cone has the same radius and height volume of a cylinder is three times the volume of a cone so volume of a cone is one by third time the volume of a cylinder so one by three pi r square h a cylinder has curved surface area curved surface area here you don't have something in cylinder sorry cone has curved surface area in the cone if you see this height is called slant height l so the curved surface area of a cone is pi r l this will not come as 2 pi r h because the circles are not uniform in a cylinder all the circles are uniform till its height here it is based on the slant height and the total surface area of a cone you already have pi r l here how many circles you have only one circle at the bottom top you don't have so you need to cover that circle also pi r squared so that will be pi r times l plus r is the total surface area of a cone fine okay next we will see sphere okay. 
So spear is a total 3D figure like a cricket ball. Okay, it's, it's a cricket ball. We need not by naturally occurring figure. So volume of a spear is basically calculated by methods. This you need to remember. 4 by 3 pi r cube. Fine. When it comes to total surface area to cover the spear, these things are about spear. You say 4 pi r square. Now I can give some logic here. For a curved surface area of a spear is how much? There is no concept of curved surface area and total. Both are same in a spear. Why? Spear is totally rounded. There is nothing like a top and bottom. All the sides you see it's curved. So both are 4 pi r square. Fine. Now coming to hemisphere. Hemisphere is nothing but you cut the spear into two halves. Fine. So then what is a hemisphere is? Hemisphere when you cut into two halves, the volume becomes exactly half of it. So 2 by 3 pi r cube. 4 by 3 pi r cube divided by 2, 2 by 3. But what about total surface area? Yes. Again it is half of it, 2 pi r square. But when you cut a spear into two halves, take say for example, you are cutting a ball into two halves. One circle you will see in their bottom of the ball, the half a ball. Normally when the ball is full, you will not see the circle. That circle you will put as pi r square. So that is why it is total surface area is 3 pi r square. And in terms of curved surface area, you will not cover the base. Curved surface area is not covering the base and the top. So that means it is just 2 pi r square. So these are the basic understanding of the solids. So how the formulas are and why and so on. So now when it is combined together, you should be in a position to frame or understand the scenarios.